the Langdale Valley. It features some of the most dramatic and iconic mountain scenery in the whole of England. It's just over six miles from Skelleth Bridge to the head of the valley. We're off on a superb low level walk covering the middle section. From New Dungeon Gill to the village of Elterwater, then back along the valley floor. The walk is just under six miles in total and features some of the finest low level views in the whole of the Lake District. as well as some of the quirkiest signs. The scenery is spectacular from the start. But there's much more to the Langdale Valley than superb views. This has been a working landscape for at least the last 4,000 years. It's not known when human habitation began, but four millennia ago, Neolithic craftsmen were at work on the slopes of Pika Stickle. They were quarrying hard greenstone, using it to manufacture large quantities of fine stone axes, which were then traded throughout the whole of Britain. Of course, back then the valley floor would have been tree covered. It was the Norse settlers to this land that cleared the trees and introduced livestock. The name Langdale is Norse in origin. It means, quite simply, Long Valley. The first part of this walk follows a short section of the Cumbria Way, a 70 mile linear footpath linking Olverston with Carlisle. We're following it for just over a mile. But when we get to the barn at Oak Howe, we turn right and head into the trees. And now we are firmly in gunpowder country. Until the advent of tourism, the major industries around here were farming and quarrying. And to extract the slate from these hills, the quarrymen needed good supplies of coarse black gunpowder. In 1824, a gunpowder factory was established at Elterwater. Powered by water from Great Langdale Bet, it used charcoal made in these woods and mixed with imported saltpetre and sulphur to produce high-grade coarse black gunpowder for the quarrying industry. Of course, there still is a quarry here at Elterwater but nowadays the main industry is tourism. Many of the former quarry workers' cottages are now holiday lets, and the former gunpowder factory a modern timeshare and hotel development. The village takes its name from Elta Water, the small lake to the east. The name Melter Water means the Lake of the Swans. For the return leg of the walk, we take this access road to the quarries. Just before we get to the quarries, we take this path to the right to walk alongside the river to the village of Chapel Style.
Wainwright's Inn. With this being walking country, you might think that this is named after the celebrated walking guide author, Alfred Wainwright. But it actually refers to the village Wainwright. A wain was a small farm cart. The village Wainwright made and repaired them. We're going to turn left just before this school sign, but first I've got a bit of shopping to do. This is Langdale Co-op. I've got £1.50 in my pocket, so I'm going to apply to become a customer. Right, I've shopped until I've dropped. Now back to the walk. That looks tempting. Maybe next time. I've just had an ice cream. Right, we're coming to my favourite bit of the walk now. Heading out of chapel style up the Langdale Valley. There's quite a lot of evidence of the old disused quarries around here. There's a number of old spoil heaps on the fells to our left. If you do this walk, I'm afraid you're going to have to get used to that view because it's going to be with us all the way until the end. That's Harrison Stickle in the middle. The dark looking cliff face to the right is Pavey Ark. With Loft Crag and Piker Stickle to the left. The sign on the last kissing gate before we cross the river. A very worthy cause, the air ambulance. You never know when you might need one. As this path bears left, we're going to go right over that footbridge there to cross the river. Right, the footpath behind me it's the old footpath that it took you up to the road and you then had about 50 or 60 yards on the road to walk um, which is fine because it's not a busy road but to be honest with you you prefer not to walk on the road and I've had one or two near misses there with cars coming round a blind corner luckily they've noticed that and put this new path in I'll just show you if I turn the camera There we go. New path all the way down to the end of the walk. Isn't that good? We're on the final half mile. Nice bit of sunshine on Harrison Stickle and Loft Crag there. It really has been a super walk. And we've even got time for a spot of refreshment before we head back home.